This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're gonna revisit the Trevenor and Dosnor uh, handlock deck. This is gonna be a fantastic deck that can get rid of the opponent's entire hand very quickly. We're gonna use uh, the combo with B-String and Tag Switch of course. Uh, we already visited this deck before but this time around we have the addition of Tackle which makes things a little bit more uh, easier to say the least. We have Mellow and Lala to switch around and heal and we have Cynthia and Kalen to draw some cards. But as I was saying, B-String and tax, which will make sure we can get energies on those. There's Feromosa and Boswell tag team jacks, and we can move them over to Trevenant and Dustnor to use this attack as early as our first turn going second. Pale Moon Jax also is insane against those setup decks. Uh, let's say uh, ADP has lots of energies on that. We use Pale Moon Jax, they get rid of their entire uh, energy uh, on their active Pokemon, and they can also get knocked out if they don't switch out of the active. With a handlock deck, let's say we blow up two Ms. Magus, as we've seen before with the Tina Chomp list. We can make sure that the opponent already takes two prize cards, which means we can activate B-String, which means we can stand them to a low hand size. Let's say we stand them to four as the uh, typical way of doing this. Then we are also going to rely on Lieutenant Surge's strategy, use a Jesse and James, and out of nowhere, after using Jesse and James, we use Nightwatch and the opponent has zero cards in the hand. Hopefully we'll be able to showcase that in this video. We also have a Blasophilon in here to spread around a little bit of damage here and there. So, so we can set up Beast Game Jax, that is an option. We also have two Grass Energies, just to say it right here. We can also sometimes use Boswell and Feromosa to smack some opponents. We have Pyro Plant to uh, uh, stop the opponent from relying on Tedene, but also we can make sure that we can go through things like Caldeo. Also with Faba, we make sure that Chaotic Swell is uh, nowhere to be found, and then we smack down Pyro Plant to go through that Pokemon. We have order pad so it's easy to find our combo pieces like dust stone to be able to use Ms. Magus as early as possible so we can get the combo rolling cards like great uh, catcher will make sure we can target the select pokemon and knock them out because uh, if we can get rid of the opponent's hand sometimes we knock out at the dene or whatever things will go crazy although we only smack 150 for, don't forget that uh, Bosmosa smacks 190 and also but this Blade Blasophilon can sometimes spread some uh, necessary damage counters. So uh, that is the list, we of course rely on green. People say why green? Well if you knock out Bismagus you can still rely on green once more because your ability will be out of play. So this is the list for today, hopefully it'll uh, turn out okay. I should mention that this deck is performing very well because I got day 2 at the San Diego Regionals. So it is actually capable of winning a lot of games. So hopefully I'll be able to showcase that in this video. Yesterday we did Tangrowth and that was a one prize deck. Now we're back with tag teams but on a whole different scale. We're gonna use Ms. Magus, get a hand lock combo going and uh, this will probably be our win condition. Because if you can get this off as early as uh, your first turn going second. There's not a lot that the opponent can do, unless they start with Jirachi. And even then, if they don't get a supporter from that uh, Stellar Wish, they're done for. Other weaknesses this deck has, well, uh, yeah, you can also get stamped yourself. But uh, by the time they're doing that, you already uh, did something significant, so maybe you can prevent that. So people also think like uh, using Chip Chip Ice Axe, but that's not an option since you're using Nightwatch, so the deck gets shuffled again. We're probably up against Abilities Art, if I had to guess, Fire and Carless. Could also be Pidgey Blounce. We'll see. Okay, we start with Ms. Ms. Drevis and another Ms. Drevis. That's, a, that's actually not bad. We can also smack down Babe Lacephalon while we're at it, but uh, I don't want to give the opponent another prize card here. Okay, if it's Baby Blounce. Uh, reset stands, Fire Energies, Mellow and Lana. Okay, Greens, Rashes Art it is. Wow, seven mulligans get him to me. Oh boy, that is insane. He probably has to say, wow. Wow, indeed, that is insane. Never had that before. So, in this instance, uh, we have so many cards in the hand that getting this combo off should be easy peasy, right? First things first, I'm gonna go with Acrobat, see what it gets me. Another green. Well, I'll gladly take that green. We uh, have green. We, the only thing we need is like... Lieutenant Surge's strategy because at this point uh, using one green is not enough. <laughs> okay, we have Dust Stone. We have the yeah. Let's go with green first. 
Unfortunately, we have to go with that. We have stamped. They have actually nothing in hand. That's just insane. So we get that call immediately as well as we have another green in hand. So might as well go with a B string already or a treasure. We can also stamp the opponent. We have so many stamps in hand either way. Maybe getting a Jesse and James. So next turn we can get Dustin or Trevenant. As well as... Yeah, let's see how many energies are prized. Everything seems to be in there except for one Psychic Energy. So we tackle, get that, we Jesse and James. And uh, then next turn we only need B-String and uh, the Tag Switch. And that's gonna be it. And all of those are in the deck. So let's get those. Maybe we top deck some of those, so tackle. Let's get those up and rolling. Immediately getting one energy on the Dust North Trevenant. And we cannot attack on the first turn either way, so it's fine. Uh, we can Dust Stone. And we can. Uh, I'm just gonna smack this power plant because it's irrelevant in this matchup. We can switch already, but not gonna do that. He's gonna have to waste one stamp here. I don't want him, even if he gets energies here, this maximum damage output is only 50, which means Ms. Maggie's, uh, Ms. Drevis survives anyhow. Unless he has fighting dojo shenanigans going around, which I don't see happening anytime soon, we should be good. And now he gets like a fighting energy and fighting dojo, and I'm like, oh god. But then he already uh, like knocked out Ms. Drevis, which means we don't need switch. Hopefully next turn we like draw into Lieutenant Search. That would be fantastic, so we can lose Jesse and James. Okay, three energies from the energy spinner. He even has Heat Factory. He's probably gonna stamp me. I should have like smacked down Boswell for a most on that, I think about it, but I was like afraid he would like uh, use Great Catcher or whatever to leave him stuck in the active. Probably gonna see Welder and Stamp if I am a player that plays with lots of fire energies. Or maybe he doesn't want to get dunked and he's gonna get a tackle or a cherish ball. Depending on what he has in the hand right now, his options are limited. We already have like tackle and welder. Okay, he does not want to get dunked, but I'm afraid it's gonna be too late by the point we're at it because uh, with this scenario, we're gonna stamp him to like four cards and it's gonna be over. We're gonna use two Ms. Magius, we're gonna blow them up, we're gonna use uh, the Jesse and James so we can tin the hand. This is gonna go fantastically, hopefully. We do have a lot of cards in the hand. Have to be uh, getting them down to a low hand size. Oh, it's Braxton's art. Okay, one energy and he's gonna use Flare Starter on this guy. Seems legit. Attach a uh, lot of basic energies. If this got one extra energy attached to it, your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned and confused. That could help out in this scenario. Okay, we have a treasure, so we can manually evolve even into Ms. Magius. So, uh, manual attach of the turn. We want to get this attack off as quickly as possible, so let's smack this down. I'm gonna go for... A... Yeah, we still don't have the things that we want, so I'm gonna go with a treasure. And we are gonna get rid of... Yeah, so many cards in the hand that I actually don't know what I should discard. Maybe an energy. Maybe one stamp. We have another stamp coming. So we have Dust North Trevenant. We actually have two of them. Ta da! So before we do that, we're gonna go with Ms. Magius. Ta da! We're gonna go with Dust Stone. Ta -da! Okay, we can almost blow them up. So we switch to this card. We have to blow them up for like one card. It's so sad. Now we can blow them up. We can also smack down Babe Blasphemy, but I'm not gonna do that in this matchup. So, mysterious message. It is knocked out. So, in this scenario, he takes one prize card. That's cool. Okay. Here goes Baby Blounts. We have to smack it down in this instance because otherwise we cannot rely on the mysterious message. Ta -da. Hey, we even have B-String. How cool is that? How cool is that? So now we're gonna go with the B-String. We need tag switch either way, so these go onto 
are Boswell and Faramosa. Now, when this is done, we stamp. Mm, yeah, stamp is probably the best bet right now. Stamp to four. We somehow need to make sure that we can target this guy so he's stuck. Now we can like use the Jesse and James combo so he doesn't have anything in the hand. That could be an option. Hmm. I'm gonna have to wait till later. We need to get the energies up there, so we need a tag switch. And then search for next turn. So we can use multiple. Multiple things in a row. Or another stamp. Yeah, he's gonna attack and then we stamp. We have Jesse and James, so I guess these are the combo pieces that we desperately need. He's gonna get one attack off either way. So, tag switch, getting one energy. The only thing we need is like this one little energy. Getting him here. And now we are set to go. We could have like gotten rid of the opponent's entire hand, but nice watch, we'll do the trick. He's gonna actually use the attack of uh, Charizard Bl Brilliant Flare. Okay, switch and Mellow and Lana gone. Maybe a power plant would have not been a bad idea. Now that I think about it, power plant would have not been a bad idea. Could have also like gotten a Lieutenant Surge right now, so we can use Cynthia and Kalin and then use a green. That was probably a better bet. Oh well. We can also use Pale Moon GX and make sure that the opponent is uh, not getting out of the active position. At this point, he can see he doesn't even have an energy. How cool is that? So we got him into a handlock, so that is what the deck is all about. We're gonna try this out once more uh, without the little mistake. So uh, it's very, very difficult deck to play with to say the least. So hopefully I'll get it off again on the second game. So as you see, if you master this deck, you can uh, make sure the opponent is already scooping as early as their second turn. So he, the only thing he did is like uh, use a Vulcanian and that was it. That Charizard didn't, was nowhere to be attacking anytime soon because he needed an extra energy. He needs four energies for that attack. What else? Malamar. Malamar with Ultra Necrozma or maybe Tina Chomp. Probably Tina Chomp. This seems to be the popular build right now. I'm gonna go first so we can get the combo up, combo up a little bit quicker. Okay, we even have this on the active position. Either way, I'm gonna get this on the active slot because if we knock it out, we can just switch either way. So we have Dust Stones, we have Greens. This seems to be like a very solid way to go. The bad news is that these guy, kind of players do have a Jirachi. Hopefully they don't switch into it immediately. We can already like blow two Ms. Maggie's up and then stamp him, but that gives him four cards. It's pretty much like a judge. And sometimes people get out of judges, for instance, get a Cynthia or a Lily and all that. Ooh, two Pokemon, that's not reassuring. Oh, two, two of these Inkays, that's cool. Okay, smacking this down for sure. Mm, we can blow one of these Ms. Maggie's up already. I guess we can do that. Tackle is also already live. We have this. We have that. Doesn't matter either way, either way because we can smack one of them down. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, Cynthia and Catelyn, does no Trevenant. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna actually only use one Dust North Traven in this scenario, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Gonna grab myself. Yeah, this Blastephalon could actually be very viable in this matchup. Actually, it's very nice. Although, still gonna grab Ms. Magus first, see how we go from there. And I'm gonna go with a Dust Stone for Ms. Magus. The bench one. Thank you. And uh, right now, I'm just gonna knock it out. He gets one extra card, Do doesn't matter. We still need the combo in our hand. Okay, we have a green, which which we can still play. Or we can go for the Cynthia and Catelyn. Hmm. What do we still need? We still need Beast Game. We have a Ms. Maggie's in hand, so that's fantastic. I think I'm gonna go for a green, and the only thing we need is like Beast Ring. We still don't have an attachment of the turn though, so that is also something I don't want to see here. 
B string tag switch. We only have one B string. It, one seems to be prized. Ooh. Okay, next turn, Lieutenant Search. Green. Is that the right combo, though? Lieutenant Search and green? Hmm. I wonder. We can get a green back with Cynthia and Catelyn, so I'm gonna get this one little B string for, for the next turn. Alright. These to the hand. Can already go for Dust Stone, so we don't have this in the hand, but it still will not matter at all. Dust Stone with, and then we evolve this and go from there. Okay. We don't have an attachment of the turn, which is so sad. So sad indeed. But we already have access to Lieutenant Surge strategy, and we can blow ourselves up, and uh, we can use B String at that turn, so we'll see how it turns out. Acrobike, if we knock out this, Ms. Uh, this Jirachi, he needs two Jirachis, otherwise he will not survive. Come on, smack down of Viridian. We need Viridian. If we have Viridian, we should be good, but we'll see if the opponent smacks it down. We already got one of them in the discard pile here, which gets me a little bit worried. One energy to the NK. Skateboard to the Jirachi. Probably gonna retreat, and hopefully he whiffs on a supporter. That would be like the dream. If he was on a supporter, we can like... Yeah, this is spell tech. I wonder if he still has a supporter left. Spell tech? Yeah, what is this? What is this? We Yeah, we have the energy. So, first things first. Energy here. We're gonna smack down Lieutenant Search. We're behind in prize cards. We're gonna smack down Ms. Magius. We're gonna blow ourselves up because we can. We don't even need to use stamp, which is the weird part about this. Okay, now we promote our good friend Trevenor and Dustnor. Ta da! Okay, next there, B string. Psychic, psychic. Ta da! Okay, and now we need to find green, or actually tag switch. Maybe we can find it with the order pad. Or not, sorry about that. So Cynthia and Catelyn, we are in the turn where we can get a supporter back and play it immediately. So we are gonna get rid of Faba. Faba will get rid of the spell tags, which could be helpful. Okay, we get the green. We draw even three cards, we'll see what that brings us. No tag switch whatsoever, but we can still play the green, which is awesome. And with the green, we grab the tag switch. And what else? Maybe in Lieutenant Search for next turn. So we can play multiple supporters again. That would be like great. So I got these two cards from the green. And now we smack some damage, get rid of two of the opponent's cards. And we'll see if we went immediately after that as well. So tag switch. We got two energies from our Buzzmosa. And we get them onto our Dusnor Trevenant. And here we go. We don't even need to rely on Stamp this time. Which is the funny point, thing about it. Night Watch! Man's from the Night Watch! Poof! Two cards. What cards? Supporters. Ultron across my energy. Now I'm worried that his last card is a Lily. It happened to me before. Come on. We got one prize. Three, triple Stamp. No Supporter. Don't play Supporters. Just whiff. Yep, yeah, that's it. How easy is this? Come on. That's the life. Dust or Trevenant. Definitely test it out for yourself, it's such a scary deck. Very difficult to play with, but as soon as you master it, you just win on the second turn. Okay, game number three, last game today. Or, we'll see how it goes. So we won against Malamar, we won against Reshazard, so what is next? Hmm, Mewtwo? ADP? Ability Zard, okay. Ability Zard is an even worse part because they have multiple Jirachis and switches. Ooh. And we lost the coin flip. Can we get this attack off on the second turn? That is the main question we want to ask ourselves. They choose who goes first. Maybe they say like, oh yeah, you can go first. Which never happens. <laughs> of course. Let's see. We have our main attacker. We can green for a treasure and another treasure. It is an option. First things first, you always have to use order pad to see if that gets you anything. We have Tackle getting us Buzzmosa and Cynthia and Catelyn. Okay, Jirachi. 
If it stays in the active position that Jirachi, we should be fine, but Reshizard players can immediately target down our Pokemon. If he gets a Welder off, he can smack 300 on the second turn, no problem. But if we stamp him to 4, that's also a hard deck to just uh, get back from. If we get Power Plant, the Danny is useless. Jirachi seems to be like in every deck right now. Such an insane card. Ever since the team upset, it's been seeing play everywhere. Giant Heart. That means we can tin our hand for Ms. Magus, which is not a bad thing. Also, they have like ultimate gusting with nine tails, nine temptation. He gets rid of the Denny. Probably has another Denny in hand. If I had to guess. So he stellar wishes. Four, Tackle, Cherry Ball, well, Welder, of course, Welder. Getting Vulpix thrown into the mix, Welder onto a Vulpix, he's gonna go for a Heatran. Heatran combos are gonna go live. Oh boy, what now? Ditto. Okay, if we can get the combo off right now, he only has like these two Pokemon, we should be good. He didn't smack down the Danny, which was the worst part. Okay, only one Vulpix to worry about. Let's get this combo rolling. Let's get energy there. We're gonna go with the uh, order pad now, so we can get treasure. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So, what do we need? A treasure, so we can dust stone immediately. Yeah, treasure. We're also gonna check. Two grass energies in there, Jesse and James in there. One power plant, one power plant. All right. Let's get two beast ring and then also two tax switches. How many Buzzmosa? Two. Fine. That is totally fine. We have treasure. I don't think we'll need to be able to switch in this scenario. We're gonna either get blown up immediately or we will get this combo rolling. So we get this. Next up, we are gonna go with a tackle. Getting this. And hmm. He has a Vulpix. He has a Vulpix. Do we get this green, uh, or do we just go crazy with dust stone? Hmm. I think I'm only gonna grab these two cards. Yeah. There we go. Boswell throwing down there. We can use the green or wait. I'm actually gonna go help all in. There's a lot of stack teams on my board, I know, but I want to get this combo rolling, that's why I'm doing this. We tin out the deck completely with this. So, let's get rid of this Ms. Magius. There's another Dust Stone in here, and more Ms. Magius to go around. Alright. First combo wombo piece is Ms. Magius. Hopefully we find Lieutenant Search, so we can spam multiple greens. Come on, knock out with you! Okay. It's very scary. Very scary indeed. Two order pads, will that be enough? Order pad, number one, away. Okay, and this order pad, I think I'm gonna go for a treasure since we do have more stuff in the back. So treasure, don't think we'll need more energy. So let's get rid of the energy for now. Let's get this Miss Drivas up and rolling. Very hard to sequence this uh, kind of a deck. Then Dust Stone. And uh, now Order Pad again. Come on! It, it fails as it should. We've already used like a lot of these cards. Here comes Ms Mysterious Message once again. Ta -ta 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 -ta. And here is the combo Wombo piece. We don't have power plant, so that's insane. We should have gotten rid of this power plant. Or getting a lieutenant search would have been fine either way. Oh well, let's get green, beast ring, and our tax switch. Where? Yeah, only one power plant. I can understand that, but seriously, no lieutenant search. Beast ring, two psychics. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this deck right now. Tax switching. Very nice to play with, should say that. And now Stamp, his Jirachi is gone, there's a Vulpix with 3 energies. He can't get energies with Giant Heart, which is the troubling part about this. Yeah, but it doesn't always go as you want, right? 
He will only have two cards in the hand right now. Yeah, we got rid of Jirachi as well. Oof. And Cherish Ball. That's huge. Okay, we get one prize card. And I'll see if he survives from that. Two cards in hand. Will he? He can have fire energies all he wants. He has... Cherish Ball, no! Yeah, and at this point, we should have gotten a power plant. But no. Our deck decided, to, no, it's not time for power plant. At least, if we survive one more turn, we can stamp him again. And then smack down power plant. That's an option. I'm very scared, but because if he has a switching card and a welder and an energy, the energies he will get with Giant Heart. He gets rid of the switch. Two energies. He's gonna welder. Is he gonna welder and then the Danny? No, he's gonna go for Heat Factor. He's in a scenario where he needs to find puzzle pieces. And uh, why did he get the Danny first? Why shouldn't he smack down Heat Factory and then use the Danny? That I don't know, probably the 8 energy build Gerasard list. Come on, man. Let's get this rolling. Okay, Welder onto the Ditto. Okay, all the one prizes getting the energies now. One energy, yes! No, that's so good. Okay, that means we survived today. He's probably gonna switch to Jirachi and let's try this over again with the power plant. Yeah, try this over again. Jirachi can get himself, he already got two switches in the discard pile, and one skateboard. So this Jirachi is going nowhere, which is fine for us, and that means he probably has something that he can get with Stellar Wish, and that's it where it's at. So the handlock, hand handlock deck is legit. So what does he get? Stellar Wish for nothing, energy to the Ditto, he's probably yeah getting, oh the Danny, sure, I forgot about that one. Danny is ready, but with three switches in the discard pile and one escape board in the discard pile, I don't think Jirachi will help out at all. He couldn't set up a Heatran, that is an option, but we are gonna get him to zero cards this turn if we somehow find our puzzle pieces. Oh, Z Zebra! Oh, that makes things a whole lot difficult, or more difficult, I would say. Mm -hmm. How many giant hearts in the discard pile? Two. That's also good. Maybe Power Plan will stick. We are just afraid of the Heatran right now. Because we can no longer custom catch uh, the Vulpix. The thing we can do, however, is uh, use Treasure. Uh, get Bait Blacephalon set up and uh, br blow up another Misdreavus so we can snipe 12 damage counters on that Vulpix. That is an option. 12 damage counters, that's 6. Ah, that's not enough to knock out two of those, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have the power plant. That's immediately going down there. Acrobike. We have the Jesse and James combo. Oh, Lieutenant Surge. Oh, that's so hard. We can stamp him. Jesse and James will not matter at this point because he has the zebra either way. So I'm gonna go with Lieutenant Surge. Gonna go Lieutenant Surge. Then we are gonna go with a green. So what do I actually want? First things first, a stamp and a green so we can get another supporter going. Yeah, we don't have any greens left. Yeah, Cynthia and Catelyn is also an option. Mm-hmm, what now? Actually, the tackle can get a Cynthia and Catelyn either way. With Cynthia and Catelyn, or maybe the B-string. While we're at B-string turn. While we're at B-string turn. Hmm. Yeah, 190 is enough to one-shot a Heatran. That is enough. Okay, B-string is an option. Mm hmm. So many combo wombo pieces. It's insane. And we just used Lieutenant Search. No. Yeah, B-string can wait, I think. I'm gonna go for Cynthia and Catelyn instead. All right. First things first, stamp away with you. Next turn, next time we just tackle. Buzzwalt, Cynthia and Catelyn, maybe two Cynthia and Catelyns are better. So we draw lots of stuff. B-string would be amazing right now. It's the only possible way we can go about this. Let's get rid of a great catcher, I guess. We can get back the green. 
Hooray! And three cards. Hopefully B string is in there. Brr, no B string. I guess manual attachments are where it's at right now. Mm, Night nice watch. <sighs> Communication and energy. Ta -da! And power plant sticks right now, so no, the Danny to save you this time. And two welders in the discard pile. He still needs to retreat. Will he be able to get out of his hand lock? Two cards, no Jirachi, no Dedene. Heat Factory gone, two Giant Hearts gone. Cherish Ball will not help him, which is good. Yeah, he can get... Yeah, the ability will not work for uh, Heatran as well. So Power Plant, if that sticks, it's gonna be so fantastic. Next turn, we're definitely gonna grab that, that um, B-String, so we can set up this guy as well. Boswell Feramosa. I know it's a grass Pokemon, but it's max 190 against Heatran. Smacking down Jirachi. He's probably gonna. Yeah, he's sprinting. I forgot. He has sprint. Scary! Hopefully, this power plan will stick. Almost all of his stadium cards are gone. Retreat to Jirachi again. Okay. What now? What now? Energy there. Okay. This is getting crazy. Only three cards in hand, so no need to do anything. So here comes this card. Yeah, doesn't work. Has to be expected. So we're gonna go for a good old green. B string, tag switch. Yeah, B string and tag switch can get, set ourselves up with another dust nor. And we still have more options left. This deck is actually kind of fun to play with. It's also scary because he can target this card. I think I'm gonna leave these cards. Yeah, we definitely need to B-string right now. Psychic and Grass. Do we attack with a Buzzmosa? Or do we get energies? Huh, this is a scary part here. Three Psychic energies, two Psychic. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, the Grass Psychic. We don't have any energies to spare. Uh, great catcher, I guess. Faba and uh, no, not Faba. Misery Vism Faba. This guy still needs lots of energies. He can outrage us, that's fine. But if we can knock this guy out with Beast Game GX, things would be fantastic. We'd also go with Pale Moon GX, which would be fantastic. Okay, two energies again. Ta -ta. He's still power planted, so the only thing we need to do is like knock this guy out and then go with an attack on whatever. Sprint? <laughs> what is going on? Okay. He's still in the power plant lock. The reason why I attacked this guy, yeah, I knew he was gonna outrage. I'm fine with that. Fine with that at all. Okay, Acrobike. Yeah, the last energy of my deck. How cool. We still have Mallow and Lana here. Is our switch card? Yeah, our switch is in the discard pile. Too bad. Yeah, we can heal all of our, all of our damage. That's not a problem. Not a problem at all. Mallow and Lana, and then attack switch and attack with this guy. Uh, yeah, we can heal 120 damage, attach here, and then attack switch. I think that's the best option. Uh, let's get rid of this. Green is probably useless at this point. Yeah, we're gonna switch to this guy. True. Heal off all the damage. We're gonna attack switch. Ta -ta -ta. And knock out this Reshazard instantly while everything is healed completely. And uh, here comes the Night's Watch again. Next turn, we just manually retreat and get rid of anything on this board. Welder is gone again. How crazy. Three prize cards. So, Reshazard going down uh, easily, I would say. So, what now? What is going to be his option? Yes, Zep Zep strike on the active position. The scary part right now is that if he knows we don't have much energies left, he can like gust ourselves and leave our Trevenant stuck in the active. 
That could have been like our loss condition. If the opponent realizes that, then we are gonna lose. If not, he's done for. We only have one switch in the discard, so that's his only option. He's gonna switch to Jirachi again. Stellar Wish. What is he looking for? He can just make us stuck in the uh, position here. But we still have Cynthia and Kalen to use Mallow and Lana. So you see how good this deck is. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's fantastic. Peace out. Thank you.